There's one drawback with my lathe. The gearing doesn't allow for an M12 thread. And this seems to be a surprisingly common size. And while dies work, they aren't always the best option. A custom gear is the solution. I ordered a gear cutter, but I need an arbor to hold it. There'll be lots of tools to make tools in this video. I turned the shaft and then flipped it in a collet chuck to maintain concentricity. I then realised the cutter would be far too close to the chuck and wouldn't have clearance. So it became an offering for the scrap gods. I remade it extra long to maybe suit future gear cutting hobs. We'll see. Over at the mill, I cut a keyway. And then I lock tied the key in place. I want this gear cutter at the end, so I need to make a spacer. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have made the shaft so long, but I'll make it work. So drilling, boring, and then parting. And I had a basic sleeve. I need to allow for the keyway. I decided to splurge on this project and bought keyway brooches. I've never used these before. I had to make up a brooch bushing guide. And working awkwardly around the camera. Yeah, I broke my tool. <clears throat> the answer it is. At the mill, I made the guide slot. My work holding technique here wasn't the greatest. The clamping has a tendency to close up the slot on the tool, but I got away with it this time. I then used my laser engraver to mark the size, just for future. I initially tried broaching in the lathe, the part, and the tailstock were slipping. So I had to resort to the hydraulic press. And so far, whoop, that didn't sound good. I decided to push onwards and, nope, that's definitely not good. So there goes my expensive brooch. I might need to consider an arbor press at some stage. So I resorted to the method I should have used and fully milled the slot full depth and this will definitely suffice for a spacer. And with that, the space is complete. I quickly made up a clamping nut and the cut is complete. Now I need to make the gear blanks. I've decided to make multiple gears while I'm set up. Once more, I need to make a guide bushing, and this is a slightly different size keyway. And then I slotted with better work holding technique. I don't want to tempt fate and break another tool on this job. I laser engraved once more, and went straight to the hydraulic press. I left the destroyed brooch nearby. Intimidation will keep this one in line. And isn't there some saying about insanity and doing the same thing expecting different results? However, all went well with a bit more care and patience. To work on the set of gears, I need to make a work holding mandrel. I'm setting it up to be turned between centers. All the final turning was done between centres to ensure concentricity. I did find my lathe was turning a taper over this length, so I had to resort to emery cloth to achieve the correct size along the entire length. I then turned and threaded the end for a nut. This will retain the gears. It's almost there, but I'd like a key way to ensure the gears cannot accidentally spin. While at the mill, I also added the locating flat. This would be a nicer surface for the drive dog to lock onto. 
Once more I locked the key in place and it's quite a nice looking part. I turned all the gears to the final size. Once more I had to use emery just to take the taper out. And then over to the mill to start the tedious process of cutting gears. And it's always so satisfying to cut the final tooth and see it all lined up. Every single gear tooth then required deburring, which took some time. Now to try the gear out. I'll test cut an M12 thread. Moment of truth. And my scratch pass was not right. <clears throat> I then realised I selected the wrong gear. Resetting, we got the perfect pitch. My thread cutting technique was a bit aggressive and I got a very rough finish and took a bit too much off so I have excessive clearance. The thread gauge demonstrates that the thread profile is correct. It's just the wrong diameter. I decided to add a finishing touch and laser engrave these gears. Inevitably I'll forget the gear selection, so I'm putting that on the gear itself. I'll put these up on Etsy if anyone wants them. They'll suit an AL960B lathe. We'll see if I can recoup my losses of my broken tooling, and hopefully help some people out. Thanks for watching.